Alright, I picked up a USB webcam type little doodad here. Um, it is from ELP. Uh, I'm probably not certain if I'm going to use it on Linux, not sure, or Windows. We will see. Um, so here's the uh, model ELP. Blah, blah, all those. So two megapixels, so not massive, but five volt DC runs should run off the USB. And I think it's supposed to be pretty good for night, night vision type stuff, which is what I'm looking for. So I'm not looking for incredible high resolution, but just for monitoring um, some 3D printers in low light environments. So um, So, looks like it has a little bit of a screw mount type uh, option here, and couldn't tell if this actually came apart. It's an interesting way that this is uh, wired together. So, let's uh, double check that. Um, so pretty long USB cable, actually very thick. Um, and then the, uh, the, the LEDs for night vision type viewing and a cover to the lens. So I don't know what that was about focusing. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what red type that is going to be for mounting that. I'll have to explore that. Um, but this does not appear to have any type of verifocal lens. So I guess this is just for a different model. So I will... Uh, Get the tape off the instructions and uh, look through them a little bit more and uh, see what I can do with it. All right, so I am trying to record. So we're looking at this little guy, so you can sort of see what it is here. Um, pretty close here, but I might uh, be mounting this on 3D printer kind of things that I actually can move around um, with the print um, as it moves. So you can hopefully be in close, but maybe I'll be further away. I don't know. Um, but um, just mainly showing and got a multicolor tape object here and you can see the color in that. So we go from the gray side to the blue side, got the purpley pink kind of thing in there. So um, that's what we're looking at there. And I've got a bit of light shining around here. Um, and you can see, um, see that. And uh, I'm not sure how to show, but um, as I was looking at it, the um, LEDs tend to be off unless you really need it. So let me uh, turn off a few lights and let's see. So I'm actually getting a little bit of daylight over there. So I may have to repeat this uh, or just kind of, oh, all I have to do is put my hand in front of the... <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if you can hear it. There's a clicking. If you can hear that. There's definitely a click as it um, switches over and then turns those um, um, night vision LED um, lights on. And you can see it's maybe washing out the uh, object a little bit there. Um, 
obviously on the main overall visual you can't uh, really see that but um, so maybe it's that too close and now the night vision went off so there we go all right so now yeah, it's kind of dark being at a bit of a distance um, tends to work okay for that so the up close um, just a little too much um, you can see my hand just fine there but then it does tend to wash out a bit here in the center. So I'm not sure if there's any type way to control that, but again, being out a little further, that works well. So I'm getting a little bit of static somewhere in the video there. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, not seeing it now. And there it is. Now it tends to be happening when the night vision is kind of kicking in. So, so then it goes away. So uh, I don't, don't think that's any kind of reflection here internally in the room. Although maybe, you know, maybe it's just doing some sort of depth sensing. It's interesting. It's right there on the uh, surface. Another option here is kind of shooting down. So you see that I guess it's not static. I guess it is somehow doing some sort of sensing. And you do see it has the uh, kind of the fish eye type uh, refraction going on there, bending the, uh, obviously it's a flat table, but it looks very curved uh, from this perspective, not so much, but um, you can obviously see this is a straight line that is <laughs> looking rather bent. So um, it's kind of given that effect, but um, I think for what I'm looking for of mainly just monitoring, uh, you know, is the 3D printer working and doing its thing, uh, I'm going to find a way to use it. I think it will be useful. Um, hopefully it just doesn't wash out too much there uh, of whatever it's up close to, but uh, I will experiment with that and see how that goes. Hope that will help you out. Have a great day. Take care. All right, so let me see if I can replicate that clicking, and now you see the clicks and the LEDs come on when it's kind of dark. And out when there's some natural light going on. And they do, I think, change a little bit in the intensity as needed there, so that's what I'm talking about.